Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm gonna be bringing you another awesome Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial on how to do a door open transition in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! Now, in order to achieve this effect, you're gonna need to record yourself opening a door. In this case, I'm opening a door to my office. Voila! Just like so, and you're gonna wanna transition into a scene of where you want this transition to go into, which is me actually in a suit speaking at a keynote seminar. Now that we have that, I'm gonna give you a hack. So, cause I know the draw, doing a draw mask can be very tedious and it can be very long. So I'm gonna give you guys a cheat code. Before we do that, we're gonna enter a uh, speed ramp. And we wanna enter that speed ramp about the time where we actually open the door, which is right here. So you're gonna select the spot of before you open the door or when you're opening the door and you're gonna hold shift and the the B button on your keyboard and that's gonna give us a speed ramp. Now we can we can speed this up. Uh, usually I like to go maybe about 300%. So you just drag the mouse left while highlighting it and 321 will work too. And that's gonna make it a lot quicker when we're doing our draw mask tool. Now that we have that, I'm gonna hit V on that because I'm not focused on that. We're gonna draw, add the draw mask tool over here from the right and add it to our door opening clip. And we are going to find the spot where we, about right, right there. You wanna get a little crack in the, in the, in the door. And right now I'm gonna come over here so I can show you guys 25% so you guys can see where the points are gonna be. So first things first, we're gonna add a point up top. Add one here, add one here, boom, boom. We can adjust that, right? Okay, so now that I have my points, we're gonna come over here to the right and we're gonna invert mask so it's black. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to transforms. We're gonna add keyframes, okay? So you see all these plus signs, we're gonna wanna activate them till they turn yellow. So all the transforms are clicked and under control points, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna hit that point. Now we select our clip of the door again, and we are gonna move one frame to the right using our right arrow tool. And we are gonna play this game where we move the points every time to cover it up to make sure it is black. Now for the tutorial sake, I am gonna speed this part up because nobody got time for that. Okay, now that we have everything masked, we're gonna take it back. We're gonna bring it back, bring it back, bring it back to about where we first started, which is right here. And we're gonna go backwards a little bit so we can polish everything up. So we're gonna come over here to the draw mask over here and we're gonna click the invert mask so we see it like this. And now what we're gonna do, make sure it's highlighted, we're gonna hit the, the left arrow key and we're gonna take it back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up any, and we're gonna cover this up, any of the door when we go back because we want this, this opening to be polished, okay? We're gonna do this until it's completely closed. Like what we have right now. Now it's completely closed. We're gonna come back over here, hit the invert mask. Now what you'll see is that you're gonna see a black, nobody wants to see that, okay? You're gonna see like a black line. Now we don't wanna see that black line, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a keyframe for the feather. And we're gonna hit the plus sign. And we are gonna decrease it negative 100. And then we're gonna click right. However, for this, we can add a, key, a feather for like 45. And that way we don't see that annoying black line. You see how polished that looks? We're gonna activate our second scene that we're gonna transition into. And we are gonna add this below the mask. And when we put the two together, you will get something that looks like this. 
you guys could get crafty. You can add transitions and different blurs and everything like that. But for right now, this is perfect for me. And this is how you do that awesome door opening transition. Really simple, easy to do. If you guys enjoy this tutorial, please smash that like button for me right now. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.